my art is about the community. My art is usually for the people. I took the image that we're all familiar with, this iconic picture of her in her uniform uh, with the American flag behind her. So I used part of that picture. And on the right side of it, I included the Mexican flag because she was also from Mexican descent. So I painted the flag in the Mexican flag in blue, almost as if it's in way in the background, so that her portrait will be the one that will pop out. And not only did she um, get enrolled as a soldier to fight for this country and fight for the citizens of this country, um, but also carried her heritage in the background. Um, and she died this way in an environment where she, they were supposed to protect her, uh, encourage her, motivate her, build her as a leader. I felt it needed to be done because we were touched by it, the story that is, and we were moved by it. And by her being represented here, even though she wasn't from here, um, I don't know if anyone here knew her here in our city, but at least we can memorialize her and remember her story, not forget about it and pursue justice parte del homenaje, se develó oficialmente este mural que fue pintado por Milton Coronado, un artista de Chicago. He decidido hacer algo y es pintar un mural que no solamente representa su rostro, pero representa su historia, representa varias historias de las cuales uh, muchas personas tristemente uh, fallecen o son víctimas de la manera que ella lo fue. Milton Coronado también es el artista detrás del mural de Marlene Ochoa, otra mujer que murió de una manera trágica y de hecho ese mural se encuentra a tan solo unas cuadras de donde nosotros nos encontramos. A través de su arte, Coronado dice que espera fomentar un cambio social. Sigan enseñándole a sus hijos a, acerca de esas situaciones que existen en el mundo para que paren de suceder. Formando desde Pilsen, Maribel González, Noticiero Telemundo, Chicago.